Hello and good day everyone, welcome back to the show. My name is Sean David, thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, we got a special guest in the house. He played Tommy Lee in Best of the Best. Philip Ree, welcome to the show. How you doing, Sean? Good, 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 good. How you doing, man? I'm good, all good. Wonderful. Now, Philip, you were one of the most influential filmmakers of my life today, or you are... Uh, one of the most influential filmmakers in my life currently, because you did something which was almost unheard of back in the days, and was, which was very, very difficult back in the days. Um, but let's rewind it back to the beginning. Now, you came up with the story of the movie Best of the Best, and I heard it's, yeah, based on a true story. What can you tell me about that? Well, um, I mean, that is a true story because... Um in the United States, there was only five guys that uh, uh, became a uh, U.S. team, and we went to Korea. And when we went to Korea, I mean, these guys, I mean, they were badasses. And they're called Rokas. Rokas are Re Republic of Korean Army. And at that age, every male in Korea, they train six days a week. And uh, one of the things that I, 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 I saw that was like, whoa, this is really different. I, I witnessed a guy having a bucket of water and drinking, drinking, drinking. And I'm going, what the heck is this guy doing? And then after that, he gets on the weight, you know, you have to go on and check your weight. And then he walks away and he throws it up. He, he throws up all this water. Wow. So because they want to they wanna be faster, you know? And I'm like, wow. So when I saw that and the dedication of the Rokas, uh, it was admirable. It was really admirable. And at that point, the guy that I uh, fought with, I mean, we were just bloody. He was bloody, I was bloody. But when it was done, he came in and gives me a hug. So it was not an animosity. You know, that's what a warrior, you know, I feel that's what it is. So, a sign yeah, of respect. Sign of respect. Mutual suspect. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and because of that, I started writing. And do you hear this buzz? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But <laughs> unbelievable, man. Now, once you had the script in your hands, how did yeah. you get the movie made? Because what many people don't know, you were also the producer of the movie. And this, right. this was the first movie you produced, right? Actually, it's the third. The third I movie you produced? Uh-huh. Wow. Um, okay. Yep. There was an L.A. Street Fighter. Uh, oh, Fighter. you produced that movie too? Yeah. I had that movie on VHS <laughs> long, long time ago. I didn't know that. Yep. Wow. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, but Best of the Best obviously was a more, had, at least it looked like it had a higher budget and was a bigger movie, right? Correct, yes. And what I, I what I wanted to do is to have real characters, you know, because this is this is not just about a fight movie, but it's about character, you know. So we brought in uh, Eric Roberts, and then we brought in. Uh, I really have a affinity of respect for James Earl Jones. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, and James. Uh, he said, yeah, this is great. And then James came, came in and, you know, Sean, uh, Sean Penn's brother, Chris Penn, came in. And it, and it was a blast. And my brother uh, playing Dae Han. And uh, we didn't know what's going to happen, you know, but we just put all our heart inside of it. Yes. And became best of the best. Now, you already touched that topic a little bit. Um, I recently talked to Eric Roberts about the movie. And yep. 
we also discussed what we both feel, what is the biggest difference of that movie comparing it to most martial arts movies of the 1980s and 1990s. And we both agreed upon that best of the best is more character driven and has a lot of heart, which was not typical for martial arts movies, especially in the 80s and 90s. Right, correct. And Eric, you know, Eric was terrific. He worked his butt off, you know, to get really ripped. And he did it. He he really did it. And, and uh, he worked hard. And he was terrific. Nice, man. Yeah. For you being an actor plus a producer, was there any extra pressure you felt? Shooting the movie, knowing, okay, the movie has to succeed because there's a lot of money on the line. Was it difficult for you? You got to go inside. You got to go in uh, with the mindset. If you feel like, oh, it, this is not going to be good. I don't know. Well, let's just do it. Then don't do it. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. But if you know deep inside, this is something that I want to do it. It's going to be great. And then, like I said, that energy, you know, when you're really, um, really, how, how can I say? If you really want to do this, you know what I mean? And people come to you because you know that you are so committed to it. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, they commit it and they don't, oh, I don't know, then it's not going to work. So you really got to believe in it. You got to believe in it. You have to believe in it. And when you're, when you believe that strongly, then people will come to you. They will attack, you know? So that's what I did. Hmm. Now, the movie is probably the most emotional martial arts movie of all time. It, it, it's so funny. I watched the movie, I think, a week ago or two weeks ago, and I had tears in my eyes because I haven't seen it. I think I haven't seen it for five years before I've seen it uh, a week ago. And my wife was looking at me and was asking me what I'm watching. <laughs> and she was thinking I was watching like a drama or something like that. And I told yeah. no, it's 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 a martial arts movie. You got a tears in your eyes while watching a martial arts movie? And uh which yeah, it's it's just crazy watching a martial arts movie and, and having this kind of emotions in the movie. But tell me how hard and how tough was it for you having those emotional moments at the end of the movie with the ceremony? Yeah, I mean Actually, it's my brother, Dehan. Yes. He did a terrific job. He did a terrific job, um, not just as a martial artist, but as an actor. Yes. And here's, here, here's something that you would like. So we took, you know, we shot uh, my brother. And first time... He did it great. He did it second time, third take, fourth take. And next thing you know, we still didn't get it. And it was about five or six take. And his his tears was dried up. There was no tears. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And we got to get that scene. So we were all worried. He said, oh, shit, you know? And so I said, okay. I told the DP, I want you to shoot it. When you look at me, I want you to shoot. So I went to my brother and I said, Simon, I love you, man. And I hugged him and he started to cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time I ever said to my brother, I love you, man, you know? And, and then, <laughs> then shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And got the shot. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is beautiful or mean, but it's <laughs> definitely a nice story, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 
Yeah. It's, it's, but it's also funny to imagine that your brother was all dried up, like like no more body fluid to to yeah. get any tears for for a while. Crazy man. I mean, the Korean team. Uh, we went to Korea. We brought all the crew, cast and crew, all the way to Korea, and we wanted to do something that is really different. It's like it's a, it's winter. Everything is snow, and this Korean team broke us. They're training, you know, um, in snow, and whoa! And then we found this water waterfall, and my brother and <laughs> all the Korean team underneath the waterfall, and they were getting drenched. Oh. And whoa! I mean, they were freezing. Yeah, I can I mean, imagine. Freezing. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, but they went through it. They did it, you know. So it it takes things like that, you know. You could tell that oh, this is fake. Oh, this is real. That was real, you know. So stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see that it paid off. Yeah. The movie now is a cult classic, and and people watch it over and over again. I mean, now it's on Amazon Prime, um, and 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 the new generation can see the movie. So it's a real cult classic. What does it mean to you that you were part of a movie and you were the the engine of a movie that last time? I just I just wanted to make a martial art movie with some dignity. It's not about killing people. You know what I mean? It was not about that. It was about the martial artist, you know? Martial artists, as we uh, learned to learn and grew up, it was never to fight for, you know, something that, um, Because there's a lot of martial arts guys who wants to fight. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, you know, I'm a badass. Let's see what you could do. And so, and at the time, my brother and I, we also were teachers. So we had to have a certain, um, I mean, we, we needed to teach the younger people mm -hmm. that don't fight for any reason, just to fight to fight. You know, don't do that. If, if you're in danger or you're somebody's attacking your wife or your yes. So because we all seen a lot of uh, martial art fights and they're they're fighting yes, but what what are they fighting for? Hmm. You know, and I'll bet that I love those pictures as well. You know, but I wanted to do something different. That's all. Well, you succeeded. Well, um, I'm looking forward to uh, this reboot, and I think it's going to be very it's, it's going to be very different. Again, uh, a lot of heart, and it's about guys and gals from all, all over the world coming in. So, hopefully, it'll get done this year. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. And if it will be done, you will yep. come back on my show, and we're going to talk about it. Absolutely. Wonderful. Absolutely. Yes. Philip, it was great having you on the show. Thank you so much for, for doing this little time travel. Absolutely, Sean. Yeah. And also, also, Sean, if you ever need any, you know, um, if you want to just uh, uh, think tank as, as your, your picture that you're going to do, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. All right? 24 hours a day. <laughs> 